Oh. Which one? Your Prime benefits are on hold due to a billing issue. I don't give a sh- Final Fantasy X Project, 1999-2002. Jesus Christ, I forgot how- Oh, I completely forgot how long this game was in development for. Because you already know, back then, three years for developing a game was a long time. Right? What'd you say? Back then, releasing a game in like nine in the nineties and early two thousands, like three years was the longest you would wait for a game to come out. Final Fantasy thirteen three came out in twenty fourteen. I don't. Is that right? Yeah. Are you sure? I don't remember it coming out in twenty fourteen. It was a late 360 release then, because that's when the Xbox One was out at the time. Like a really late 360 release. I was like to try to make this game a sort of a love story, which, not gonna lie, is one of the better love stories in Final Fantasy. A series that's not good at making love stories. Mostly. But yeah. Not only that, the game the game used motion capture. Not gonna lie, the motion capture was amazing for this game. I will say, thirteen did have the most gorgeous world out of all the Final Fantasies. Like, oh my god, was that game gorgeous? Oh yeah, like thirteen's art style is amazing. Like, give it all the shit you want, but the art style for thirteen was amazing. Also, fun fact about this game: every time they put Titus in a new game. Which I'm upset. His name is Titus and not Titus, because Titus sounds more awesome. I'm gonna call him Titus. Is that um they can never get his face right? Oh, he looks like a freaking child in uh, Final Fantasy Thir or uh, Kingdom Hearts One. I guess because he's he, supposed to be. Yeah, because he's supposed to be a child. But here's the thing: for the remaster, they give him a new model. The problem is his model, like the facial animations, was not made for the HD model, and it makes it look weird. Mm. You can tell this guy was de was designed by Nomura because he has all the belts. <laughs> I mean, that's how you tell how badass an anime or Japanese character is. How many belts do they have? In the early 2000s, though, that's what you mean. That's what it's called. I swear Shadows of Valencia ripped this off in its opening cutscene. Yeah, like, experts for, like, if you want to make a certain build. But the thing is, though... I don't really care much for building in this type in Final Fantasy. I just care for like, okay, what are you gonna give me for these characters and I'll work with it. Yeah, this one had to do with that like priest guy trying to like drown the planet or something, right? No. Which one am I thinking of then? God, I haven't played this game in so long, and I can feel the nostalgia just coming in. Because I played this shit when I was a kid, and it was amazing. God, I love the old music vibe. The music is amazing. Is this one with Kafka? No, Kef Kefka is FF6, which I have FF6. I got the entire series. Did they remake six in three D? No. I think, I think there was one they remade in three D. They remade FF four in three D, which I also own. Then there was the After Years, which I don't know if FF four for the After Years is good. I love how they're remaking every single original Dragon Quest, which is pretty freaking dope. I know it's sick. Oh, I didn't even talk to the fans. Can I have your autograph? Of course. Whoa, is this guy an idol or something? Oh, he was a, he was essentially the equivalent of Ren he was essentially the equivalent of Ronaldo in this game. Who's Ronaldo? A really famous soccer player. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, he's he's this game's look me a minute. I'm like, he's this wait, game, what? He's this game's equivalent. Did you ever play soccer when you were a kid, like in like one of those like group things? Like those little league soccer things. Good luck tonight. Yeah. 
Nothing to worry. I did. Ours was in the winter though, so it was oh, inside. If I score a goal, I'll uh, do this. That will mean it was for you. Okay. Oh my God! I forgot how much of a douchebag Titus Let's was see. in the beginning. He's blocking the front The voice row. acting's good, but why is that laughing right. scene so bad? Got it. I think it was intentional because um, essentially it's kind of sad if you think about it. Because after, in that scene, what ended up happening is that Titus had to force himself to laugh. And the thing is, that was in order to cheer her Can up. But this? the thing is, with no context, problem. it's just depressing. <laughs> like, it sounded like he wanted to cry. Take near the it end. easy. That's the thing with it. Because, like, a depressing scene happened happened a while back, and they were still going off about it. Or, like, like um, Yuna was super depressed, and she and Titus tried well, to cheer her up. Gotta go. Cheer for me. But at the end Two, of the day, it's I love just, three. yeah. She just had a blitz! Hey, I, I got a game to play. I love the uh, gag the game theory made about this game tonight, being like, uh, you know what? Besides, besides that awkward lack of scene, this game has extreme distrust I mean, towards organized religion. Promise? Promise. Also, this game, I think I told you off early, off a of stream earlier, that this was the first game that did the you're the protagonist but not the main character trope. You're the protagonist, but uh, this guy's more important than you are. That's essentially so you're it. you're essentially the main character's bodyguard. That's basically it. Yeah. Well, this is the HD remaster. This is the HD remaster, and they improved a lot of the models and textures. So, way, a lot of this way. didn't even look like this in the original game. Coming through. Sorry. I can tell they improved the lighting. These hey, are pre-rendered backgrounds, be dude. Late. This is not 3D. This is pre-rendered. Hey, let go of me. I know all the old Final Fantasies were pre-rendered. Yeah, but this Ever one was since Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, but this one's also pre-rendered. Yeah, there, no, they all the, are. There is no improved lighting. They just improved the resolution of the pre-rendered backgrounds. The cutscenes are unchanged though. Okay, that water looks amazing though. 2001 graphics, am I right? What is it with Final Fantasy and always having amazing looking cutscenes, no matter what year it is? I like how these these pre-rendered backgrounds are now just modern gaming graphics, or considered PS4 graphics. Actually, PS3 graphics. Right? Like, this yeah. was... Like, these types of, of cutscenes were like PS3 graphics. And then when Kingdom Hearts 2 came out, we now had PS4 graphics. Those only PS4 graphics. Which is shocking. Dude, no matter what generation... Nowadays, it's funny, nowadays games just smoothly transition to a cutscene because games look like that already. Yeah. Like, I kind of miss, like, having, like, higher detailed cutscenes than the rest of the graphics. And even if we did try to do that, it was a bitch and a half to get it the timing right. For, like, pre-rendered actual gameplay. Like, a lot of games now just do their cutscenes in engine. Oh, they don't need to shit. worry. Because they don't need to worry about, like, making pre-renders, because you can make it with the engine now, because it looks so impressive, you know? Yeah, this game is essentially aqua- underwater- underwater football. It looks fun as fuck, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it is. How are they- how are they breathing, though? They just hold their breath really good. Oh, that's sick. I love this kid. See, just had a- Dude, I miss cutscenes like this, they always look so gorgeous. Doesn't it look gorgeous? It's just the game's art style. Your main character just sitting there and plugging the whole party. <laughs> Dude, this gives me nostalgia for like early GameCube stuff. Because cutscenes. Oh yeah, the jack shot. I forgot about this. I can never get it right. Give me that tip. Oh shit! Like I... For a second, I thought he got shot out of the air. <laughs> That's a way to kill a planet. Oh shit! I forgot Titus's reflexes were on. Reflexes were on. He's like, damn it! Why the fuck do I have to be a protagonist? Well, he's a protagonist, not the main hero.
How are they breathing, Lamel? Shut up, Jake. How are you, a, how are, JK? <laughs> JK. How did you survive the fall, dude? Uh, anime protagonist bullshit. That's Orin, what are you doing here? I was waiting for you. What are you talking about? God, Orin was so cool back in the day. I'm sitting here looking badass. Now go yeah. fuck it. Get the fuck out of my way. He also has a big ass sword, which he was also in KH too as a character too. Oh, I thought it was a villain. Didn't he create this? Oh wait, he didn't create the tsunami. He was just looking at it. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Oh yeah, I forgot. This whole game is technically an isekai. It begins. What? I forgot this whole game was like that. Don't cry. Hey, child, we should punt him across the room. Well, no, it doesn't really happen. Damn it. Uh -huh. Listen, all children need to be punted. It's how they learn. I know. What the? What? No, but when kids are growing up, they get they hey, fall over and do stupid shit on, this, on their own. I know, because I've done that shit. Do you ever, like, touch a hot Not surface as a kid and get burned? Look. You could definitely tell Titus's model was not made for this. Because the original PS2 model was made for this. Unfortunately, this is the HD model, and it was not made for those old animations. Or there wasn't compromise for it. We called it Sin. Of course the final boss's name is Sin. Well yeah, this game has fucking heavy religion vibes in it. From what I know about it. I like the whole I like the whole aqua punk this game gives off. Aqua punk. Oh uh, I miss like vibrant colored fantasy worlds like this, you know? Like a lot of games just go for like a dark vibe now and it's kind of annoying. Like, you know? Well not well they go for a dark vibe because it's the easiest to do. They don't gotta cost me the color palette. Which nowadays they're trying to fix that. They're trying to like add more colors to it. Like give me a vibrant fantasy world, please. Take it. Here, take a sword. Yeah, aqua pump even more it. because the sword looks like a fucking fish hook. So the aqua aqua pump guy. Uh, I didn't even know aqua pump was an art style, but I like it. No, it's a, it's a term I made up. But every time I see a game like this, I always call it aqua pump. I hope you know how to use it. Like, I mean, I'm in love with. You. Oh, sorry. That sounds like a good term, though, right? Aqua pump. I mean, it makes sense. I'm in love with like desert punk myself. I just like the idea of like making cities and like carcasses of giant monsters and like having badass looking motorcycles and shit go through the sand. It's just awesome. Yeah, that's vibe essentially. Yeah, it's killed that desert fucking. I love it. Oh, that's cool. That they spawn more enemies like that. This game was probably a budget take. Don't bother going long. after all of them. Cut the ones that matter and run. They're like, uh... Also, this game got rid of the... Like, this, this game also got rid of the ATB. And instead, got what you see in the corner on the right. What's the ATB? You know with FF7, 8, and 9, you have to, like, wait your turn for waiting for a bar to fill up? Yeah, that's, ew. That's not in this game. Instead, there's a wait order. I thought 7 does that, too. No, 7 didn't. Here it's like, oh, you want to get your turn faster? Okay, use this skill so that way you can get your turn faster and get not more turns. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. So you can essentially cut in line. That's actually yeah, that's essentially the gist of it. You're cutting in line essentially. It's sick. Dude, that can cost. That can cost some real. So is it? That sounds like something you find in like a strategic. Oh my god! A str a str oh my god! A strategy. RPG. A uh, tactical RPG, which is a uh, fucking dope. Yeah, which which is why skills like haste are godsends because they let you have your turn faster. It's amazing. God, like I like have trouble finding words sometimes lately. I don't know why. Yeah. Also, for some reason, 2015 square, oh, 2013 square put a lot of effort into redoing the music for this game. It was during that era when they were remastering Kingdom Hearts One, but they made Kingdom Hearts 1.5 remix and 2.5. Get out of my town! 
Some I have those games for good. Die. Some can't wait to die. Let's kill him. Oh, he says that because he has an overdrive. Let's go. Bushido. Let's go. I'm assuming these are the equivalent of limit breaks in this game. Oh, that's sick. But thing is, though, once you max out your character, you want to go for the multi-hit limit breaks rather than those single hitting ones. Because those are the ones that do the most damage. Let's go! Hey, name, welcome back. Also. <laughs> I, uh, look, I'll do Subnautica when I reach 150 subs. How's about, how about that? We're doing an all-nighter when you reach 150 subs. I tricked the streamer into deleting their game. Jesus. Did you tell them to delete System 32? That's the best roll you can make. Yeah, when I reach 150 subs. Less, though, when I reach 150 subs, maybe. Because I'm doing an all-nighter anyways. And I have Subnautica in my library. I just haven't touched it. Dude, I already said I'm gonna kidnap you Friday and we're gonna do it. Uh, we're doing below zero, not Subnautica Vanilla. He said Sub Zero Stream. Oh, and you're. and you are doing. you the only one that has below zero. Yes! So I'm gonna kidnap you Friday and that's what we're doing. On my channel, of course. Yeah, so go sub to his. Japan Lover 79, what are you baby! At you made them blue. Shameless plug and shit. Let's get out of here! Huh? Yeah. Give me a break, man. Oh. Give me a break, man. Give me a Kit Kat bar. <laughs> Isn't that their new slogan? Give it a break. Yeah, I think it was no, give, it a, give it a break, and some of it was. Oh, uh, left. Or, I think at some point it was left or right twitch. Oh god, don't remind me of the left and right twitch fucking campaign. Because putting those fuckers back at work is a bitch. The funny thing with the left and right Twix, though, is there was no difference. It was just packaging. Sorry to ruin the immersion, chat. Damn it! These things... Oh, wait a minute. I know what to hit. Hold on. Anyone wait. in chat remember Wonder Balls, or am I crazy? Oh my god, I forgot about this. This is the one Final Fantasy that lets you attack your own allies. <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess for... See, if I ever did that in a game, I'd make it... I'd fuck with the player and make a skill that makes it so you have to attack your own ally to activate it. Okay. Call it like a blood art or something, like a sacrifice art or something. Yeah, but most JRPGs that do it, do it in a way where it's like... This could be bad. Um, oh, your enemy character, your party member's charmed? Okay, nah. attack them to stop knock it down. Out. What? That should be a neat idea, though. You'll see. You could call it like a bl like a sacrifice art, and let's say like you and the other party member are stupid low on health, but you can beat the enemy with enough power. And if you kill your and if you sacrifice your ally by using a sacrificial art, you can do a uh, you can do a super strong attack. Wouldn't that be neat? Yeah, but the thing is, though, you have to balance it a certain way, which would require. Well, yeah, you could. you can yeah. only do it like when you fill up a bar or something. Yeah, and the problem is, though, it's that... Or if there's only two party members left standing. No, that, and also because of the health. You put... If, you have to put, like, a lot of health to make sure they don't... Well, die. here's what I'd do. I'd have it so if you do that, you cannot use that party member again for X number of fights, even if you revive them. Would that be balancing it enough? No, not enough, because you would also have to, like... Depending on how hard the attack hits. It just would just be a fish to balance. I searched up Japan level 79 and found a corno? What? Oh, oh Japan number 73. That, oh. that is not my username, buddy. It's 79. Yeah, that does come up with a porno. <laughs> oh my god, really? That's awesome. And it's 79. Oh, new subscriber. Hey! 
Thanks, Dame. Oh, look at that. A butthole. Oh, that is a, dude, that is a rare sky butthole. And it only appears once every 1,000 years. That was really hard to say without laughing. <laughs> you know what's fucked up is that you're not exactly wrong. That is the sky butthole. It only shows up every 1,000 years. That dude is badass as fuck. Yeah, like, he knows he's... It all begins here. Like, there's a difference between a badass character and knowing you're badass. I'm assuming the six, it was isekai's the shit out of us. Yeah, this game's just a one big old isekai. Is it? I was kidding. No, that's what right. it is. It's just a straight up isekai. Hey! God damn it. Summoned and everything. My old man? Hold well, on, let me see his logo. Oh, I, want, I want to see his logo. His logo looks sick. The Jack logo. We interrupt Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 11, or Final Fantasy 10 to bring you that weird ass swimming level from Kingdom Hearts. That's pretty much what this is. Because they released around the time of Kingdom Hearts, dude, in 2001. Cage. Well, yeah, because this dude was in Kingdom Hearts. There were like Final Fantasy IX and I eight thought about a right? lot of things. Yeah. Like where I was, what I got myself into. I started to feel uh, lightheaded and then sleepy. I think Isn't I had a dream. X? Wait, what? A dream Final of Fantasy being alone. 10. No, I no, Final Fantasy X is not a one. It's Final me. Fantasy X. So I didn't have to feel alone anymore. FF fixed their shit in the 90s with the confusing name, so don't worry. Ever since 7, didn't they fix it? They fixed their shit. Yeah, because they re-released the games to, like, actually be representative of the games they are. Like, Final Fantasy 4 is actually Final Fantasy 4 instead of Final Fantasy 4 being Final Fantasy 3. <sighs> Please don't confuse me on this shit. <laughs> oh, don't worry, don't worry, I'm not. It's just, for some reason, the 9... Square was really... Was really worried with Final Fantasy during the late '80s and early '90s. Anybody there? So they just fucked up. Hello. The Welcome to the apocalypse. Orin. Oh, sorry. That's basically what this is. Hey! There's a bird whipping, and I'm scared of it. God, no bird, game... come back! God, this game's art style is so good. Yeah, name white magic in Final Fantasy is pretty much like healing magic or holy magic. So no, it's not. Level. It's not 1800s. It's no. Actually, this is beyond our future. Literally, in the way, 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 way future. The future is now. The future is now, people. What are you doing, sheeple? Oh, so that also oh, if you import it. Oh, that makes sense. Something is written here. Nope, nothing. I'll probably come back later, or when I get like a save with all the ciphers, which will be probably be a bitch and a half to get because I gotta find all of them. Hello, how you doing, fishy? Ah! Dude, the fuck? Um, hmm. Are you joking? Or are, are you? Know, I'm serious. Are you actually joking, or are you serious? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Christ, man. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I love this battle theme. It's so good. I'm back. Yeah, so name is a menace. What happened? Look in chat. <laughs> Japan number 79 have to ban a bitch. No, oh, don't worry, he is a menace. Look at that. <laughs> look. I'm only kidding, I don't even have that power. No, look what the fuck it. is that thing? Uh, exactly what you think it is. A uh, Geoskado. Uh, whatever the fuck you say that. Scam virus. Serious, you call me annoying. You can't let that slide. Like, I would not let that slide. Reminds you Pokemon and Big Boring Body Pillow. Yeah, you Doc is here. Actually, I'm gonna give it. No, Doc, how about you don't do that? It's gonna pull up porn. That's not on screen. What the fuck? Hold on. I'm keeping an eye on it. I had made it out of the frying pan and into now the it's freezer. JK, shut up. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die in this place. Yeah, it is, Doc. I was literally told 30 minutes before we started. I thought I came. <laughs> I called Shinigami thinking we were going to do uh, more SMT3 tonight. Yeah, but I'm like, I don't want to just be an SMT persona whore the whole time, so I want to like do some variety. Because I'm more of a variety guy than just a focus on one thing. I searched up the hub on Incognito when I was 11 on my grandma's tablet. Okay, uh, chat, I'm going to tell you a funny story when I first discovered what porn was. So. It was when it was two, the ancient year of 2007 when YouTube first came out to the public, and I was trying to find YouTube again. This before we had good search engines, and I looked up YouTube. Guess what appeared? RedTube. I don't know if RedTube even still exists, but RedTube was a porn site back then. <laughs> and the first thing I saw when I accidentally clicked on it was a video of Daphne King Scooby. The fuck? I didn't watch it. put the flint and, flint and tinder. We now interrupt Final Fantasy X to bring you Dark Souls. The bonfire. Yeah. The bonfire has been lit. Did someone else make that joke in chat as soon as I said it? No. That would have been funny as hell. Oh, 100 lightning blast. Oh, no. I remember that. That was a pain in my fucking ass. Oh, I wish I had a copy of Fallout 4 on PC. Name. I do not. I, have I do have Fallout New Vegas, though. I do have Fallout 4. I have it. Dude, I replayed New Vegas, right? And it feels so much different to what I remember, and it's weird. I yeah. need food. No shit, you need food. <laughs> I need food, or I die. What do you want? Human. It was a bad call. Your team lost because of you. You came to say that. It's been ten years. I thought you'd be crying. Who? Me? That is dad. No, that's his uncle, technically. You cried. <laughs> wow, that kid's a shithead. You understand his role in the story later, way later. Is that like his conscious or something? Not exactly. Uh, 
Hey, wait, wait! Uh, don't go out on me! Uh, ah, just hold on. I'll get more wood. I'll get more wood. Just let me pull down my pants. Oh, hello. My favorite party member is Waka, because he hits like a truck. I mean, he said he needed more wood. Technically, morning wood counts as wood. Uh, there's another. There's another. There's like a group of people here that want as racist to get, and I'm like, oh my god, that's so fucking funny to me. I now was this rated right M or rated teen? Rated teen. First Final Fantasy. Rated teen. Wasn't the first Final Fantasy to be rated M13, or am I crazy? You're crazy, because we didn't get a rated M Final Fantasy until Final Fantasy Zero, Which is in like, the modern day, like 2010s. And I have Type Zero, but Type Zero is... Doc and me, same brain cell. <sighs> what if a black person was watching us all the time? Actually... Here's the thing, it's heavily implied Waka's Hawaiian. Oh, Riku! Is Riku's Yo, ass nice hanging guy? out her outfit? Cool. No, that's a skin, that's a suit. A body suit. Oh! It looked like his ass was hanging out of there. It's just like the tone of the suit. I'm like... I've seen partial nudity in games, but I feel like they wouldn't be able to get away with that. Actually, no, I'm lying, because they have Ivy's ass hanging on her suit and uh, Soul Calibur, and it always gets like a teen rating. You'd be surprised what games like that can get away with. It's funny. Asses. A OK. Any form of genitalia. Rate it A immediately and make sure no child can purchase this. Ha! Got a grenade from you, asshole. Yeah, this is Riku's gimmick. Spoiler alert, her name is Riku. With two Ks. And it's not Riku from Kingdom Hearts. Riku from Kingdom Hearts is infinitely cool. Not a different Riku entirely. Yeah. Is Kingdom Hearts supposed to be just a different universe? <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean if they're kids in Final Fantasy, or in Kingdom Hearts, and that happened technically ten years earlier. And that's right in your face, Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, she's 15, I forgot. Phew. That was close. Wait, why is he telling her she's don't forget she's 15? Hey! Right? Hey! Better. Let me go! Whoa! Predict Drek! Ifin, here is a take you cut! Walk in a coup! Damn It sounds like Russian, I can't help but realize it. The accent sounds Russian too, even hers. Ow! Yeah, that'll help a lot, man. Thanks, Doc. Hey, that hurts. Usujek, Rain. Whoa. Okay. Kainis. Right. Whatever. Oh, uh, you hood kebab. Oh, you want me to fucking... Ah. I said I don't understand. Fed! 
He said you can stay if you make yourself useful. Bitch! You, you understand me? Ow! All what right, it? I'll work. Carry them into the washing machine. <laughs> Let's do this. Name, the way to drive anyone insane is to tell them, well, specifically stupid people, is to tell, is to get a bag of M&Ms and tell them to sort the M's and the W's. <laughs> oh, if you're really feeling frisky, frisky, include some Skittles in the mix. Oh, don't say skippity to it. That's just, no one's gonna, oh, no. Wait, are you saying ah oh, to my thing or what he said? What he said. Oh, I fucking hate skippy toilet. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm gonna make a moratorium on skibbity toilet right now. I don't find it at all funny, so don't mention it. Is it copyrighted now in the on count? I'm pretty sure it was so oh yeah, dig sold. Neon 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 neon. Dude, I, I love to just throw on Neon Cat for 10 hours straight. Dude, Neon Cat is just my brain's elevator music. It's such- it's- it's good brain rot. It's the brain rot that makes you laugh. Alright, if you have to have an elevator song for your brain, when you're, like a thing that will just go on when you're not thinking anything, what would it be? Oh, I forgot this was a mechanic able to switch weapons in combat. I forgot that was a thing. Chat, if you guys have to have an elevator song for your brain that would just play when nothing's going on in your head, what would it be? I would be, I don't want to set the world on fire by the ink spots. I think, um... My favorite would be um, Mad World by, Mel by uh, Marilyn Manson. Well, is that the one that's like, man, I'm not gonna sing, but is that the one that, about like the kid in school and shit? It's the one that was using the Gears of War trailer. Or no, Sweet, or Sweet Dreams by Marilyn Manson. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that that song was a horror. It's supposed to be like a horror vibe. No shit. I think I changed my elevator music. I think mine's Hello Zet from Saw 1. There we go. Got rid of it. What? Oh, the boss. I forgot how bullshit some of these bosses were. Because you gotta do some weird environment shit. Oh, no, wait. The Ultimate Edition is 1258. That's still a good deal. Hey! Hey, I helped out, didn't I? I have such a backlog, though. I don't want to add to it. I still oh. have to play more Corp Party. Oh, hungry. How the hell do I own... Uh... So according to my Steam library, you and my other friend both own Hellblade Sending the Sacrifice. Right on. You're welcome. You both bought that shit? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Why does Titus sound like he's about to throw up? Oh, he's choking. Fuck. He choked on the glizzy. <laughs> I thought you guys said it wasn't that good, yet you both bought it. No, the sequel isn't that good. The first one's great. Oh, it's the first one. Fast. What's the second one called? Uh, Senua, Senua's... <laughs> Hellblade Senua's Saga. Yeah, I remember... Wait, hey. Disco still... Get Disco. It's only 12 to 15 hours. But it's very Hello replayable. There. What is your name? If it wasn't flat broke right now, I would. Whoa! You really do understand. <laughs> that was a little racist. You really do understand. 
You're not a dirty savage. Didn't you say so earlier? I didn't get a chance to. Everyone thought we were a fiend. Uh, we? Oh, we means you. I like the uh punk esque diving gear. <laughs> Who are Aquapunk. you guys anyway? That she's wearing. We're out bed. Can't you tell? Oh yeah, she's the person Walker's Wait, racist against. You're not an Albed hater, are you? I don't even know what an Albed is. Which is funny because the game does deal with Where racism. Are you from? Game, stop showing oh, ass Walker. shots of an underage character. Which is not even actually her ass. Star it's literally player just a of the Zanarkin Abes. Did you? Yeah, but they know what they're doing. Or something? Um, but you aren't guys hit me? some diving suits like that anyways? Like they have like on the crack oh, as well. Right. Do you remember anything before that? Yeah. Oh, I wanted to tell you something really weird. So I got my, uh, okay, so my older brother's handicapped and, like, watches, like, little kid shows, right? So I told her everything there was And I got him this one from Saturday. Dollar Tree. It's called, like, Me Eloise About or something. Fair, and they constantly and show attack. this kid's panties. It's and weird as fuck. About how Aaron and I were engulfed in this light. It's like an animated show that constantly does that. I'm like, what the fuck? But then yeah, I started weird. to wonder. Like, keep in mind, this is for, like, four-year-olds. Let's just focus on Did the game I for now, because that's getting a bit... Say something funny? Weird. Yeah. yeah. You just saying. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. You'll be better in no time. They say your head gets funny when sin is near. Maybe you just had some kind of dream? You mean I'm sick? Because of Sin's toxin, yeah. Bullshit! You sure? Yeah. Oh, Sin there just is no people Xanarkand sick. anymore. Apparently. Sin destroyed it a thousand years ago. So no one plays Blitzball there. What? Huh? What? What, what do you mean a thousand years ago? Oh yeah, it's a matter well, of time. I saw situation. Sin attack Xanarkin. You're saying that happened a thousand years ago? No way! Yes, way, oh, you idiot. He went into the f oh, so he went a thousand years into the future? Yeah. He essentially got isekai'd. I'm engaged. Did you know FF10 takes place in the same universe as that? Wait, it does? Okay, leave it to me. I'll get you to Luca. Promise. Bullshit! It takes place in the same universe as Seven. <laughs> You'd rather Bullshit! Stay here? Uh -uh. Wait, Final hey, Fantasy Fire Emblem Engage takes place a thousand years in the future. Are oh. you kidding me? Yeah, and after thing, three houses. Another reason I have not played it. From Zanarkand, okay? Another game, reason place. I have not played it. You might upset someone. And FF10 takes place in FF7. How the fuck? Oh, uh huh. <laughs> oh, hey, Anton, you're here. I left for 20 minutes. Did I miss the breathing and water debate? They literally just hold their breath. I know, just fucking listen. Some kind of people. Place? Stop questioning yeah, my I knowledge thought. on going underwater. Since when? I love you all, but Jesus Christ, you use this bullying safe for Gigi Gami. Sin? I'm kidding. Of Luca? Course. I thought Sin just took me to a faraway place that I can go back in a day or two. But a thousand years into the future. Oh, the engaged no MC would take him a thousand years sleep. I need to buy that game. Uh, I'm up for stuff. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. FFX2 has founder Shinra in, of Shinrico. Oh, ah, yeah! Ah, you mean the evil electric company? Yeah! Yeah, those guys. I forgot Why about that. Why does that make so much fucking sense to the FF10 universe? Yeah. Essentially, it's been a theory for years now that FF10 is a prequel to FF7. Shit! Oh yeah, I forgot Sin was just a big old ocean whale monster. I told you it was a giant whale. We're gonna fight a whale! <laughs> a whale the size of a country? Yeah. Whoa! Oh dude, that one dude's armor looks like he's from freaking Borderlands. <laughs> They hold their breath for like 15 minutes at a time. Jesus Christ! 15 minutes at a time? I can barely do it for a minute. Are we back in our own universe again? 
Come on. I wonder what that's no. like when you wake up <sighs> underwater. Riku! Gotta be hell. <laughs> oh, Ow, fuck. my face! Waka, the racist! It's my favorite racist in gaming. <laughs> my favorite racist in gaming. Hey, you okay? <laughs> Hey, you okay? I ra I super fucking racist. Whoop. I'm alert for a bit. I'm playing Summon Night Five. Is that a mobile app? Whoa! <laughs> Hello, my favorite racist in gaming. How you doing? Well, that sounds so bad. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, the stream on my end's running at like two frames a second. Which is funny because I have full bars. Yo. Hiya. And on Hi. my feed here, it's stuck Try at the move. octopus fight. One more time. Finally. Things were starting to look up. Probably need to wait for chat to catch up. Hey chat, what's showing on your end right now? I can't really tell. You probably gotta like, um, fast forward the stream so you can like, you know, you know. Who you play for? There we go, now you're, now I see it regulated out. Oh, so I'm pretty sure Waka is voiced by Jake the Dog. It sounds... Say again? Uh, I meant, forget that. Uh, I got to, uh close to sin and my head's all foggy like that's just an excuse for so, so much uh, bullshit I don't know where this place is or even oh it's, it's like the thing from fire emblem Sin's fire emblem face like if i talk about I anything from the dlc lie. i will explode to that's essentially what it is it's like oh um my brain's just fuzzy because i'm close to sin all right back to practice i'm waka Fuck to practice. And captain of the it's like a great player. accent, I love it. He's also, no, he's Jamaican. <laughs> That's his accent. What? You hungry? I still love okay, it. Okay, back to Fucking the village. Dope. I'll get you something. Dude, I love the Jamaican and South African accents. They sound so cool. Same with, like, the female Australian accent. <laughs> There's an item somewhere. I just forgot where. Like, if I ever meet a girl with a female Australian accent, it would be love at first sight. Just hear the word. Can't. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! I felt oh, like I could Samurai trust Chef this Waka, amazing. so I, missed that I just had to ask. Ah, uh, shit! I, dude, I only saw the first uh, few episodes of that, but I want to watch Zen more of that was shit. Destroyed, right? A what is that crunchy years still? Ago? So it's just a big pile of rubble now, isn't it? Long time ago, there were a whole lot of cities in Spira. Big cities with machina, machines to run them. People played all day and let the machina do the work. And then, I well, wish. take a look. Sin came and destroyed the machina cities. And Xanarkand along with them. Oh, yeah, doesn't Sin yeah, not like modern, ago, like, just like you said, I machines don't know. and you stuff? Me, I forgot. Sins are punishment for letting things get out of hand. What gets me, though? Is we got oh, to yeah, I remember some game theory. Basically, Sin doesn't like modern when. technology. Of course, we must always repent for he our thinks sins. we got lazy or That's something. Important. It's just that it's hard to keep at it sometimes, you know? It was just as Riku said. This is like one of the few Walking Final Fantasy Riku stories that makes both sense. Be lying. Why would they? <laughs> like, I hate how Final Fantasy 13 story is so fucking complicated that it would literally needs a freaking gl Abe's. glossary a index one, huh? so you know what's happening. Hey, I'm not saying that team never existed, yeah? <laughs> but you gotta figure, a team living in luxury like that be pretty soft, eh? Yep. I appreciate oh, Metal Gear. the fact yep, that, that Waka was oh, trying to cheer Metal me Gear up. is the ultimate but test that to time, check if you're gay or not. Well, fuck me. Was <laughs> Metal Gear is the ultimate test to check all if you're gay or not. Started with sin. Do you realize Maybe what happens every time people time, see that snake's ass? I could go ass? home. <laughs> For now, people I just live well, yeah, until time came. Konami, I think, no nerfed his ass with Smash. They, they, had, they had to. It sure, was still it was hard not to think of home, brawl, but they had but to I nerf started it to feel better and already. And it sucked. A little better. Maybe. Konami loves nerfing asses. It's actually a thing they do a lot for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, but for Metal Gear, it's they're fucking gonna... weird, dude. 
Yeah. Not only that, I'm not joking. Look at you can Google this on YouTube. There is an actual compilation, like three hours long, of Metal Gear Solid game moments, and it's amazing. <laughs> I mean, isn't Kojima bi though? Dude, it's dude. A lot hey, of fans have theorized way. that he's bi, but prefers women. Like, there's a lot of things. I mean, he's either bi or really wanted to like cater to the female audience with Metal Gear. <laughs> Probably both. One or the but other. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. Kojima has always been an advocate of gay rights for ever since back then. He was the first one to say that one of his villains was bisexual. There was one comic YouTube I watched that was openly gay, right? And he was leading a kid. They nerfed, what? so they took away Nightman Nightwing's ass in the comics at the time, and he was leading a campaign that was through a hashtag that said What's "Bring Back idea? the Butt." Yeah, I remember. Yeah, FF uh, for Metal Gear. Kojima, even back then, has always been an advocate for, like, you know, for being gay and all that shit. He's always been up for it. But nowadays, that's... Oh, boy. Yeah. See, which is interesting, because Japan isn't really about LGBTQ rights and or women's rights. Oh, oh yes. That's, oh, boy. Oh. And as an autistic person, I'm pretty fucked in Japan as well. It's like... Yeah, that's a con. Again, I don't think we need to get involved in it, so let's not. What con? What con? Involving, you know, the controversial, con the, con the, the controversial stuff that you've done about women. Women don't. Oh, I was gonna. Me. I wasn't gonna. <laughs> JK. I wasn't gonna go in the full. Dude, J I wasn't gonna go in the full detail on that. Uh, JK is like, women don't love Metal Gear. Men do. <laughs> Dude, only the gayest of men love Metal Gear. And I must be gay because I own almost the entire series. <laughs> no, but uh, Japan's a good place to visit. I was literally about to finish when you said it. I'm like, Japan's a good place to visit, not a good place to live. Yeah. I'm straight, you but need I accept. To let me finish, bro. UK is like, I'm straight, but I accept being brainwashed as a loving snake. You and me both, brother. <laughs> Listen, if you watch enough of our streams, you'll probably turn gay in about five streams with all the gay jokes I make. You get what I mean? Yeah. Let me go. Got a favor to ask you. You want me on your team, right? I would drop a kid for free. <laughs> listen, listen, man, listen. I'm not condoning child violence, Major but Blitz tournaments coming up. Nah, I don't know where I'm going Spira with this. Be there. It's so huge. I'm sure someone there will recognize you. It's so huge, man. Let me whip it out and show you. It'll be fun. What do you say, huh? Just whips come out his ball, on, like his actual on. like soccer ball thing. Yeah. Waka, he makes him think it's his ball sure thing. Uh, that's actually pretty badass. Ooh, our team is gonna rock, eh? Oh yeah, I forgot. Blitzball in this game is super fucking weird. Cause I always sucked at Blitzball. I, I thought then the Blitzball and Sin were the only Doc, two you gotta get Sparking Zero on, on launch. I know oh, she mentioned Dragon Ball. Fuck I want that yeah. shit on launch. I, I am, I am, Mo, I am pre-ordering that shit, dude. I want to break my controller like when I was a kid. <laughs> I need to get a new. I need to get new this controllers for that game in general. I I Xbox controllers, fuck. Dude, I don't know what's with me in D-pads. I fucked the same button on all my controllers, like every single D-pad I have. Also, like I, re left button. also I respect well, Waka in this game because he managed to pull one of the baddest characters in the game. Time seemed right. He pulled the goth mommy, dude. He pulled the goth mommy. Dude, Waka's hair is just amazing on its own. Yeah. Look at that shit. I know, but he pulled so, the goth girl of the village. Queen, you ever heard of the meme job, of yeah? the goth girl has but finally exited her house wandered, and she was like, bring me the, the country-loving farm boy. I'm guessing that's how it went with Waka and her going that. at it. So I've been, re well, I've been reading, uh, I've been reading Mort by, uh, what the fuck's the dude's name? He's like a British author. Nice excuse. Hey, hey. So you want to win the next tournament? Go out with a bang. So, what's our goal? I don't care how we do. As long as we play our best. I've been reading more by Terry Pratchett. And the, there's out. a really nice kid who's a main no, no, character, no, 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 no. and then there's, like, a girl on, that's Death's hold daughter. On. Hold on. You say victory! When you play in a Blitzball tournament, you play to win. Victory? You're serious? I like how that's such a foreign concept to him. 
It's like, wait, you play Blitzball to win? <laughs> it's like... Yeah. Anyway. Like, <laughs> that's such a foreign concept to walk up for some weird reason. Ah, yeah, the one weird. from the sea. I've been reading more by uh, Terry God, Pratchett. And... Today. There's a girl that's a, it's like a, with sin, Death's it's little, shame, Death's man. daughter is about 10 years old, is a total tsundere already, and I've been feeling in the time skip for the next book, him and the, her and the main character are probably going to get together. Huh? Cruise of what? What? You forgot that You know, apparently the next book's sad. Hey, sorry. Don't worry about it. I'll help you out. Cool. In return, come tournament time, I'll make sure we take the cup. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. He about pulled his Crusaders, brother's girlfriend. You can ask them yourself. <laughs> oh, they got a no, lodge in the village. God. <laughs> Wait, so the main character seemed to be like, I had nothing better to do. I'm just gonna join your uh, water ball team. Yeah, that's essentially or the gist. Team. That's essentially the gist of it. And he thinks that because of the fact he's a famous blitzball player, that you know he might get recognized by other people. He saved village. Why do I feel like the rules have changed after there? a thousand years? We'll Probably get you something definitely. over there later. Take a look around first. Oh, I like this town. That is cool. Very simple. I'm getting Monster Hunter 3 vibes. The Crusaders Lodge is over yonder. Luzu and Kata are usually there. Dude, I'm getting hella Monster Hunter 3 vibes from this. You could definitely tell this whole game was inspired by Hawaii. Over here. Huh? What's up? A Hawaiian culture. You remember the prayer, right? I don't know any prayers. Of course I'd never prayed before in my life. Not that he would know that. I like how there's a narrator in this one. Have forgot there's Titus is his narrator. Here, I'll show you. Titus is narrator, dude. Oh, there's Titus. Titus is narrator. Go ahead, you try. Mm. Mm. He just judges your prayer. Okay, now go present yourself to the temple summoner. Any yeah, your Blitz techniques are, your techniques have not have prayer. bad. Go present yourself to the Blitz fucking priest. <laughs> Where? It was right in front of you. <laughs> Help the Oryx to lose their first match again. Did you see them at least tie a game in one of these years? Wow, how ass do you gotta be where it's like your hometown just hopes you wish to do a tie? Your hometown's like, our fucking team. Oh, the sisters five? actually travel like in and out of places. Yep. Now where's the fucking advance for 2001? There you are, you little bastard. So this was like a launch title for the PS1 then, or PS2. PS2. 2001, the game released in 2001. Yeah. Hey Siri, when did the PS2 launch in North America? PlayStation 2 was released in North America on October 26, 2000. 2000. Why does this really just place look like a circus or is this an arena? It's the church. Hello! We are here to tell you about our Lord and Savior, Jamaican Christ. It was then, standing in that place. I began to realize how different this world was from my own. So is that like, what is on his leg there? Is that an extension to his pants or is that for like the battle ball thing he plays? I think it's an extension of his pants. That's where the J symbol goes. Don't bother people when they're praying. It's against the teachings. Oh, so slapped in the face. That's where you pray. Okay. Ten years have passed since Lord Braska became High Summoner. And finally, we receive a statue for our temple. Well, what's a High Summoner? 
Uh, uh, I I got too close to Sin's uh, toxin. <laughs> I told you. It's the excuse. His back's up. It's the excuse every time. It's funny hearing myself make the same excuse over and over. Funny, and a little sad. The summoners are practitioners okay, um, of the sacred that was a bit art, better. sworn to protect yeah. the people of Yevon. Only a chosen few become summoners, who call forth entities of great power, the Aeons. The Aeons hear our prayers and come down to us. I'm assuming that's the summoning Aeon class in this game. Yevon. Yeah. So what he meant... Was that we should respect some kind of great men or something like that? I figured. We're like, oh, I just gotta respect this dude because I don't, I don't know who he is, but I guess I should respect him. I guess. This is such an isekai. It's amazing. Well, yeah, but it's more of an isekai to the future, not to the past. Almost yes, reverse isekai. Oh, so I'm not joking. There's a straight up Pokemon tournament in this game. Is there? Yeah, you use your summons to duke it out with other summoners. That's awesome. I'm not joking. Literally, Waka pulled the baddest bitch in this village. Where are you? Oh, hey, Waka knows what you're doing. Hey, Waka. And the thing is, she has Simon, a lot of belts. No Therefore, time for lunch she, yet. she, uh... Take yeah. a nap. You look pushed. The Oryx suck so bad, they lost like 33 years in a row. It's great. Oh, shit. Oh my god! That is amazing. Can you be considered a professional team anymore if you lose that much? You could at least go see how they are doing. We can't interfere. It's a rule. But it's been nearly. Game plays quite impressively for 2001. But it's been nearly. It's been nearly a day already. Perhaps you could go look for us. People are searching for him now. Us? Don't they mean him? Thank you. So are these the people from our time that are looking? Who cares whether he comes back or not? But he might die. Oh yeah, I forgot he hated his death. Fine, let him. Do you? You hate him so? But if he dies, you'll never be able to tell him how much you hate him. That is Sakura's voice actor. An old one. Yeah. <gasps> Waka? Yo, Waka, you good? Where'd you go? <clears throat> Probably the temple. Waki, she's having an existential crisis. Is something wrong? The summoner hasn't returned from the trial. Eh? Huh? Well, apprentice summoner, really. Huh? There's a room in there called the Cloister of Trials. Beyond is where the apprentice summoner prays. If the prayer is heard, the apprentice becomes a fully fledged summoner. Remember? Uh, so someone is in there somewhere and they haven't come back out. Right, I got it. A day's already gone by. Is it particularly dangerous in there? Sometimes, yes. Why don't you go in and help? There's already guardians in there. Besides, it's forbidden. And? Hey, but what if something happens? What if the summoner dies? The precepts must be obeyed. Fuck your precepts. Like I care. <laughs> I mean, this game is very anti the religion that's in the game. That's essentially the gist of it. This wasn't such a good idea after all. No shit. Maybe I was stupid for doing this. Oh, I remember this. This part fucking sucked. I remember this part was super annoying because you have to do a bunch of these in a row and it was really confusing for me as a kid. So 
Up, left, down, right, up. Just full circle. Awesome. Up. Okay. Oh, you have to remember the. Oh, that's simple though. It's just a full circle. Here's the hard part. You must use a sphere to go further. So the split room is just a big labyrinth. Usually that's what these things are, yeah. They're annoying, but sometimes you gotta deal with it. Not letting me interact with it? Nothing. They actually... <clears throat> Try interacting with it now. Nope. I always hated these puzzles as a kid. It was annoying. They were really annoying to deal with, and they're really annoying now. And they haven't become any less annoying. Yeah, because I, here's the thing, I don't like puzzles in general, they always hurt my head. You'd hate if we played for Portal then. Oh no, I know Portal is good because they actually make you think, like, outside the box. Here it's just like, oh, you gotta do this really specific thing. I mean, you gotta think with portals. Piss me off. Because there's nothing to interact with. I don't know what to interact with. Look at the opposite wall. Nope. Give me that. Oh, okay. You can only hold one spear at a time. Yeah, this is the part where I find really annoying. You have two hands for a reason. Use both hands! Oh, definitely. Because everyone knows... I think I've surprised you. What? Because, you know, it's, we're fully aware that Takumi gets no bitches, so... Oh, he gets none of the bitches. Yeah, because he said... What if he goes to the rod shop? Yeah, he goes there to get... Um, home by Camila. Camila just takes him over the counter and smacks him on the ass. Now what to do with the Poseidon spirit? That's the Poseidon spear. It's um, Muslim, I think. Hated this part, it sucks! Oh, that's how you reset it. Okay. That's cool. What are you doing, Madam Cat? XCOM. I could take the I can't I could take them all aliens. Hey! What's gotten into you? Hey, it's okay. Only summoners, apprentice summoners, and their guardians can enter here. It's a tradition, very important. So what about you? Me? I'm assuming the theme of this game is tradition versus new ideals. A guardian? Maybe. I mean, you're the one who's played for this. I forgot, it's been years. Summoners go on a pilgrimage to pray at every temple in Spira. Guardians protect them. The Guardian's in there now. One of them's got a sure fuse, and who knows what the other's thinking. Well, now that we come this far, might as well go all the way. Dude, you need to get loot first before you go all the way. Damn. I got all the loot. I said lube. 
Oh god. We might as well go all the way. Speaking of, look at Lulu. No, it's howdy, uh, Gothy. It's just. See, I told you she gets mad easy. It's like, bro, you're lucky you're endearing. Is the summoner all right? And Waka catches that. Who are you? She's the black mage of the group. That makes sense. And what's funny is that she's having a kid in FFX too. Really? Yeah, she has a kid. Waka's kid. No. <laughs> Amazing chest ahead. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lulu. And then there's Yuna. You can tell she's goth because she has a lot of belts. Yeah, really. Wait. Oh, shit. I love when we come down there to save her and she makes it out. Well, not exactly. Okay, I'll hear you out. Man, was I surprised. And here I was thinking summoners were all old geezers. <laughs> yeah. She is an 8 out of 10. What you mean, brother? Huh? Yeah, dude. What? Oh, nothing. I was just looking for Waka. What? Uh, ow! Ow! Wait till you see this. I can't see anything. Yeah, baby, because you have me in a chokehold. Yeah, really? Okay. Okay. I summon Slifer the Sky Dragon! <laughs> No, here's the thing. That's that's Waka's girl. I don't want to. I don't want to do my boy like that. Oh, I remember you. I think you're Phoenix, right? The fuck is that? That's the Phoenix. It's the ugliest looking phoenix I've ever seen in my life. What the fuck? I summon a huge purple dill. <laughs> no, she just, dude, she just summoned Slifer the Sky Dragon. What are you talking about? Hell yeah. I love that meme where Patrick has, instead of the pickle jar, that's like, Patrick, that is Obelisk the Tormentor. <laughs> then he summons it and maniacally laughs. <laughs> Fucking great. You could tell she's goth with all the belts, and that's how you could tell she's a black mage. I had never seen anything like it in my life. Sure, and it was Yuna a little is scary, the white mage, obviously. but still, I summoner. could feel a strange kind of gentleness coming nah, from it. Nah, I could take Waka. <laughs> oh my god. I just gotta I sit in the open. I just gotta, gotta sit. fight Waka for his girl. Oh, just a simp. Oh, Valifor. Yeah, that's his name, Valifor. Valifor. Wait, you can name your summons? That's yeah. sick. I yeah. Remember. I named my Jacob my playthrough. We talked for the first really time. Right. Next one, kid. I didn't know it. Next then. one we get, we're naming it Pengus. After that night, everything like changed, for everyone, for me, for me. Assuming uh, sm I mean uh, sin attacks. Let me introduce you to the team. This guy here wants into the tournament so bad, I let him on the team. <laughs> His memory's a little He funny, says he's a so professional. He says anything odd. Come on, say hi. 
But he forgets how to play this because of Singe's poison. That's to be the excuse. Uh, hi guys. I so I'm what's white. Our goal? To do our best. No. Nope. We got a new goal now. Our new goal is victory. No, we got a new goal now. To win every What's match. What's knocking our asses? What? opposing team. To bring the Crystal Cup back to our island. That's all we need to do to win. Easy, huh? I like how winning. I like how it was like. Wait, we play to win. That's how we do it. That's the whole thing. Wait, we're supposed to win. <laughs> oh my God, we just played for the love of the game. <laughs> playing for the love of the game. It's, <laughs> that's literally what it is. It's literally just, wait, we play to do our best. Nah, you gotta play to win. Oh, wait, that's it? Okay. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> they win their first tournament in like 50 fucking years. 30 years. 33 years, but yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious, dude. That's their you whole, that's their whole the gimmick. Summoner. Where it's like, you man, we've been losing because we're trying our best. We're not playing to win? Really? Yuna, be careful. It's like, what but the fuck? it was really my fault to begin with. Oh. Oh. I'm Yuna. Thank you so much for your help earlier. Huh? She becomes a dual. Hi, I'm Yuna. Um, sorry about that. Uh, Yuna that? becomes a dual wielding bad bitch in the sequel. To... Guess I kind of overreacted. Yeah, she uses pistols oh, in the no. sequel. Oh no, I was overconfident. Um. I saw that Aeon thing. That's amazing. Uh, really? Do you think I can become High Summoner? Lady Yuna, come play Listen, all you need is weed to become a High Summoner. Shut the fuck. <laughs> Just smokes the fattest. No! The fattest. My puns are the best. So, oh shit, I forgot tomorrow, she's head of a Chromic. I forgot tomorrow? about that. We're going on the she same is? boat. Yeah, look we? at her eyes. Oh, really? Green and blue. We're Trying to see from this angle of the lighting. Huh. We're going in the same boat. We can uh talk in the closet can with no clothes tell on. Tell me all about Sanerkind. Please tell me she's over eighteen. She's seventeen. She's Damn 15, it! Huh? <laughs> Why is it always end up making sex jokes about underage characters? You can shoot me. Don't get no ideas. <laughs> no promises there, big guy. <laughs> hey, but what if she like? Even he's like uh, yo, she's only seventeen. That's Don't even. To happen. If you get tired, let me know. I had a bed made for you. If you get tired, let me know. I uh, made you a bed. Wink. What? Stay away from the summoner. <laughs> they don't even let him. <laughs> I forgot there's a lot of these. I wonder how much Where's the budget boat? was for this game. Everyone will find us if it doesn't come soon. You really sure this is okay? Would you Are these flashbacks or these dream sequences? I think they're dream sequences. Hey! Oh, Riku! You said you'd go with me! Oh, hey! I, uh... I thought Wakato that was a big lady in trouble. Ideas. He did. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you're coming with me. Hey, stop dreaming. <laughs> you with a woman? You can't even catch a ball. <laughs> That's dad. Oh, what's yeah. the matter? Gonna cry again? Cry, cry. It's kind of fucked up for a rated teen game. Yeah, Jekt was like all about that tough love, but huh? What'd, What'd you say? say? Surprised they never made an anime out of this. I feel like it could be an anime pretty easily. I hate you. Huh? That's the spirit. Why does this child voice sound like Eric Cartman? I hate you. He's dead. Okay, dead. He just wakes up, I hate you! And just looks at the guy on the left, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do? You slept with no pants on, asshole. First time I saw him. But no matter what he looks like, he isn't Chapu. 
You shouldn't have brought him here in the first place. Yeah, but he needed our help. Excuses again? Yeah, but... That's it. No more. Enough, Waka. So, who's Chapu? My little brother, Chapu. He looked like you. He's dead? He was with the Crusaders when they fought Sin last year. He didn't make it. I first heard on the day of the tournament. Oh, so that's why. I became a guardian to fight sin, yeah? Revenge, then? That was the idea. <laughs> I'm more worried about a stupid game now than avenging my brother. Oh. Well, after the next tournament, I'll be a guardian full-time. I know it kind of looks like I'm using you. I'm back. Not. Yeah. Don't worry. We just saw his I mean, future wife have an argument I owe with this you man. A lot. Did you? <laughs> Yeah. You really help me out, you know? Not not what Titus's, I mean is... uh, Waka's. Thanks, Waka. <laughs> Stop. Waka Waka 2x4. <laughs> waka Waka 2x4. Shut up. Chapu, by the way. Yeah, I know that. I, I remember that basically, where it's like, oh, he looks like Chapu. He looks nothing like Chapu. <laughs> Or Chapu, he looks nothing like him. It's hilarious. Why are you two all of a sudden going on a pilgrimage with her? Because what? Well, what else is Titus supposed to do? Oh, did I miss okay, that? In the ar is that a, what the argument was about? No, the argument was about like why'd you help him? Like he's like he looks like my little brother. No, it, no, like maybe, but like you gotta stop that man. It's over. Your brother's dead. It's essentially what it is. Wait, I remember now. They are turning, They're to, turning a to a law. <laughs> That's great. It's just the the plastic part. You're fine. Yeah, my sister chipped a nail. Uh, did you get them done? Yeah, but it's like the plastic bit. It's not that bad. Uh. It's kind of cute though, she comes to you about it. <laughs> I would smash any amount of like and girl autistic or not. Oh god. <laughs> Watch this! And I know one you definitely like. Look up Sydney from FF15. I was... Wait, where did you just read that? It's Told a new, you. It's a new Only thing. magic can beat that thing. If you can't beat him down, you gotta use magic of the element. No, where you read I would smash any magic? Element? Autistic or not? Let's have our black yeah, that's in the chat. Show you what I mean. Am I behind the chat? Lou, you're yeah. Up. Hey, Lulu. Clueless, aren't you? Good thing I'm here. She also uses a Moogle to fight. Spells of ice work well against fire fiends. A Moogle? And ice fiends are weak against fire magic. You follow? I get fire and ice, but what about lightning and water? Lightning and water are opposed, just like fire and ice. This one here is a water fiend, which means... Oh, is there stab too with that? Yeah, there's weaknesses as well. Although, the only really benefit you get from it is doing 1.5% more, more damage, or times more damage. Oh, it's not two times like Pokemon? That's no, nice. it's 1.5 times. And the thing is, though, once you reach the level, like, the max damage count, you essentially, it's useless, and the only way to fill it up is to essentially, um... The only way to uh, max it out is to get us, like, certain weapons and, like, and upgrade them. So... Yeah, I'm aware. Don't worry. It's an ancient custom. People leaving the island pray here for a safe trip. Chapu didn't pray that day. Said he'd miss his boat.
The dialogue choices you make matter. Maybe hit just watch. Not exactly. That should do it. Oh, Lulu? Uh, 23. Or 22, I think. Yuna's the youngest at 17. I think Titus is like 18 or 19. Is there a... Is there a relationship meters with characters, like, depending on what you do or no? No. They sort of stripped down a lot of the relationship access in the in the newer games. Like, as Final Fantasy went on, they removed some of the stuff that was there. Oh, shit, it's you! Hey, fucker who barely has any personality. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I am Omega Pussy. You shall fear me! I also go by chat. <laughs> Motherfucker, that's gonna be in this stream forever. Rippy dippy potato chippy chapu. <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys, I wish you spit my drink. <laughs> we have the greatest chat, don't we? <laughs> Ow! We just have good fans. Yee. Yeah, he, like, don't get me wrong, Kimari's design is amazing, but his storyline just sucks. Like, I just don't like his storyline. Even when I was a kid, I found him really boring. Oh, he does a double turn. What a dick. That's enough. <laughs> uh, what's with that guy? Kimari Ronso, of the Ronso tribe. He's learned the fiend's way of fighting. That's not what That's just still, don't mind him. He's another He's a cool stick, we, we don't talk about it. Huh? <laughs> Sometimes we don't understand him either. Kimari doesn't talk much anyway. Mm. But... He has protected me since I was a child. Hmm. Really, no. We're probably not gonna see one for a while. That's fine. Oh, hello. Oh, you are ugly. A flyer. That looks like that leech dragon from, uh. That looks like that leech dragon from, uh, Monster Hunter 3 and 4. Oh yeah, we can switch out party members. Oh, like, can only have three people at a time? Yeah, before it was four, now they dumped it down to three. Ever since I've seven, it's been three. If of nine, it was four, but if of ten, they brought it back to three. It sucks. Malifor. I summon Feral if in attack mode. And best part is you get to control them. God, you are you are like way too young for Yu-Gi-Oh jokes to be funny. Yeah. Hey Valifor. I think it was in 10 2, I think she lost her summoning power. That just sucks. So she just becomes a brawler in 10 2? Oh no, a gunner. Pokemon battle shit going on right now. I like the way the summons work in this episode. And you get more as you progress through the game. 
That's thing cool. is, though, you're gonna want to have Yuna in your party most of the time because, um, oh boy. Oh, that's the hyper beam. Look at that. I can imagine these things would fucking destroy you if you're just fighting them with, with a summon. No. The summons can die, you need to revive them again, I think. Oh, so there's no EXP system, you just get squares. Yeah. So characters don't level up, necessarily. Yeah, they don't level up, they just give you an, um... The level ups in this game are not your typical level ups. What they are is that they essentially allow you to move around the grid. If you have like a certain amount of level ups, you can like move two spots. That's essentially how it, it works. Sounds very tacky and would probably drive me insane. And then next, and not only that, you also gotta have a sphere, which depending on the square you're at, you'll need either an ability sphere, a power sphere, a speed sphere, or a mana sphere. You can probably guess what those work. And it's very complicated. Believe me, you're not the only one that saw this. is complicated. That sounds like a metric pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, you're not the only one. Uh, as a kid, even I had struggled to figure this out, but I was able to. I was able to work with it. I would have never been able to figure that out as a kid. I'm too acoustic. What I just said might not have been funny to you. For some reason, that made me chuckle. There we go. And compared to Persona, the battles don't last as long. Thank fucking Christ. Yeah, it's like P5 speed in this. Yeah, which... I appreciate that. Dude, P5 just has that magic battle speed that's just perfect. Yeah, where it's like, it's not too slow, but not too fast. Like, like has a nice flow. Like, it's not too fast as you can turn your brain off, but it's not too slow where it feels like a slog. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, you still like it's got, actually fun. Like, it's fun to fight. I... Like, like if I have to grind way. against enemies, I want it to feel good, like an Assassin's Creed Black Flag, you know? Yeah, but then again, if it was like Black Flag, the game would be too easy. You call me a bad gamer? Because I was 100% at Black Flag. Now here's the thing, Black Flag is just... I was going to sound like Blasphemy, but the game is just piss easy. Like, way too fucking easy. You can just go into a... Oh, no, it is! But, it, but what it makes up for... Lacks of, what it lacks for in difficulty, it makes up for in fun gameplay. I prefer to have some challenge in my games. Anyhow, uh, I almost 100 percent at Black Flag, and then it's like, collect every single Animus Fragment, I'm like, no, no, we're not doing this. Do you know how many there are? A lot? Like, Magic. like 500 Magic. throughout the map, I'm like, no, we're not doing that. Even I think the most ridiculous Collectathon thing in Assassin's Creed was the first one. Where you have to collect like a hundred of each different root sigil. Which oh, is a little ridiculous. God. It's Didn't like you what? You need magic to harm that one. Way to pat out your gameplay, AC1. Yeah. Especially since the platforming in AC1 is very stiff. It's gonna take a while. I'll handle it. Step aside. Compared to like three and later. Yeah, but what can you do? Actually I think two took the platforming and perfected it. Or the climbing. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean some of the items need to be defeated? Oh, from Black Flag. Yeah, that makes sense. I still think Black Flag is the best Assassin's Creed bar none. Two would like Three's to Three's also pretty good. Two would like to Two can go die in a fire. Why? Two's considered the best. Hey, at least four didn't need three games to be competent. Oh, well, that's just mean. <laughs> it is! But it's the truth! And the game's still great. I know. I'm just being a dick. Not only that, for so when the game first released, but not a lot of people did like. Not a lot of people liked Assassin's Creed Three. See, I'm mixed on Valhalla. It's good, but there's way too much going on in the game. I'm also stuck in. My also, my copy's bugged or something, because it won't let me progress the main story no matter what I do, and I'm so confused about it. Like, there's no marker telling me where to continue the main story, and I don't know what the fuck's happening. It's really weird.
I have not played Mirage, but I've heard the same sentiment. No, here's the thing. Mirage is not a good... It's, it sucks, yes. But it's a step in the right direction. Wasn't Mirage supposed to be a soft reboot of one? It's meant to be a soft reboot for the series. Speaking of reboots, did you know Assassin's Creed was supposed to be Prince of, a Prince of Persia reboot? Yeah. But they decided to change it last minute. To Assassin's, yes. Hey, Lulu. You're hot. You were the one who told me actually about the whole, uh, it was supposed to be a, uh, Prince of Persia game. Yeah. Yeah, this game had, like, no chill <laughs> at all. <laughs> and also the best laughing scene in all of gaming. Ha 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 ha. Once you know the consequence, but once you know the context, it's just so depressing. Excuse me. Come to think of it, I haven't told you where we're going. Yeah, where are First we going, Jack? Island. Then we change boats and hit for Luca. For that, though, Yuna's gotta pray at the temple. I'll be gone. Is there enough of ten months? We'll be praying for this. the Aurochs' victory too. So you come along, yeah? <sighs> great plan. Hey, it is a great plan. Don't look at me. I didn't come up with it. Also, this game also has one of, the reason I say the love story for this game is kind of weird is because um it was fine until the until the CD drama which was the one where you get ass blasted in the face by a boss and then it tells you to switch CDs FF8 I think That was the one with Squall, right? Yeah, FF8 is the one with Squall, Leon Squall. Which I own already as well. FF8. I got the remastered. Yeah, I, word is that I have the remastered. Got noble blood. I'll probably I play it on a PlayStation Lord emulator. Like yeah, there's it. a reason I say the Don't CD say. drama kind of. Uh, there's a reason Lord I said the CD Braska's drama kind of fucks shit. Like the audio drama. Mm. Because. Um, it just sounds like a Pokemon protagonist. Dude, Pokemon protagonists don't talk unless it's the anime. <laughs> But yeah, there's a reason I don't like the audio drama for FF10, because it ruins a lot of the shit that Ooh, happens. Fascinating clothes you're wearing. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, filthy, filthy. These won't sell. All remains not a walker. The fuck? Don't look like you got much money either. I've no business with you. Add him away. Who do you think you are? <clears throat> Awaka the 23rd. Murder I'm a fashionista. Awaka the who? Don't know me? Well, not many do. Not you. What a prick. Alright, let's hit point here. Let's go. Can and 10 2 are the only. are the only canon ones to me. Yeah, Alright. Yeah, yeah I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I'm actually not feeling good, so I'm glad you're saving. Yeah, here's the thing. The audio oh. drama just fucked up this series, because essentially... Spoiler alert! The audio drama broke up Titus and Runa for some weird reason. Apparently their relationship were so bad they broke up within the year. Of course. And it was... It was just heartbreaking, man. It was really heartbreaking, and I did not... Ugh... Why did they do that? Because if they were able to make a 10-3 after all these years, then they would have to do it off the audio drama, and I don't want them to do that. Just do their own thing, man. I am Owaka, the Argentinian racist. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's not That's That is one. great. All right, guys. We're Has he been racist yet? No. Have we seen him be racist yet? No. no. Uh, we haven't seen Waka be racist yet, but we're going to see it at some point. But yeah, um, I'm gonna end the stream here. Glad you guys came. Um, Hope you had a good night. Yeah, I'm hoping you have a good night. Uh, we're gonna end the stream here. For those that are if those that are new, please subscribe. If we're gonna do 150 subs, um, one of y'all in the we chat has, our been, break to... has been what? begging me to do Subnautica, and I'm like, fuck it. Uh, I want to do doing it on my channel on Friday. Yeah, and I'm gonna laugh at his pain and suffering. <laughs> 
and paranoia. Oh, dude, last time I played that, I literally ran out of a fresh water source, so my character kept dehydrating to death. And you and were you scared? No. I love horror stuff. Are you kidding me? Dude, I hate some Except... Monica, man. That's gonna scare the shit out of Except... me. Except. One thing that does scare me is, like, the unknown of Under the Sea, and that's kind of the drops of Nautica for me. I like that. Yeah, the thing is, though, dude, here's the thing. You're going to hate the mods for Subnautica, because there's been a lot of mods that release where it's like, oh, you love the Void? Well, he made it so that there's side quests going to the Void. Oh, Jesus We Christ. also created a monster. We also created a species of Leviathan that can go invisible in the Void and listens to it with echolocation, which means... Well, we're not playing your... that one. We're playing Below Zero. Yeah, thank God. So, yeah... All right, we're gonna stream here. For those that are new, please subscribe, please. We're gonna do 150 sub special once it happens, and for, and go ahead and like the stream if you guys wish. I really want you to if you liked it. And for those watching after the stream, uh, go ahead and subscribe if you really think I'm worthy enough. And like the vid if actually made you la stream if actually made you laugh. And leave a comment for anything you actually want to say to me. And or subscribe to any of my stuff. At oh. Yes, and go to and subscribe, subscribe to, to any of my stuff at Japan number 79. Yeah, you, you can link your stuff if you want. You want to link it in the chat? Nah, they can find it. Yeah, it's Japan Lover 79, not Japan Lover 73. There's a difference. <laughs> that is porn. Don't look that up. I don't know why that's porn, but uh, not me. Yeah, so we're going to leave it off here. So, um, see you guys. Bye-bye. Have a good night. I need to go throw up. Literally. <laughs>